What's up everyone, it's FNHUSA57 here. We're back on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and I have another Elite Weapon review for you. This one will be on the S12 Whirlwind, which is a Elite version of the normal S12 shotgun. Now this is the fully automatic shotgun, and it normally has the best-in-class fire rate. So to get started, this weapon has three positives, three negatives that make it an elite. It has plus two to fire rate, plus one to magazine capacity, which anytime you get more magazine capacity is a good thing. But it has negative two to accuracy, negative one to handling. So it has more recoil and it has a bigger spread on a hip fire accuracy. So we'll take this to the range. It's a really cool looking weapon. It's all camouflaged in uh, gold, so that's kind of neat. Now, the thing is, I really don't use shotguns a whole lot. Um, I've played with this weapon a fair amount, but I hate shotguns. Uh, since I play hardcore and I don't usually play core, uh, they're not really that useful. But that's my opinion. Some of you might find them more useful than me. Now, these targets represent the amount of damage that it would take to kill a player in core, in hardcore, it's much less. So, with this shotgun, since it doesn't have any uh, basic bonus damage or anything like that, as you can see, it does fire very quickly. However, it has a lot of recoil to it. It's got a decent magazine change speed and fairly decent accuracy, even hip fired. It's got a nice spread but it takes 10 hits to kill an opponent on core. On hardcore, it takes about three to four, depending upon the distance. So, you know, you can see here, I'm basically having to unload, you know, the entire magazine to actually uh, kill or destroy one of these targets. So not a bad weapon, but like I said, not my favorite. Now, what makes the shotguns hard to demonstrate here is, as you can see, the target is at 15 meters, and you can't hit it. Basically, any target at 15 meters away or farther, your shot just disappears. Now, if you were to move that target to 14 meters, all of a sudden you can start hitting the target. And you can see, without aiming down your sights, you can usually keep most of the rounds hitting the target in a fairly tight pattern. If you aim down your sights, though, it has much worse recoil. That's that negative two penalty to accuracy. So while you're aiming down your sights, you literally have to hold the right thumbstick, you know, down to actually uh, keep the weapon on target. So a little annoying there. Um, something that, you know, you kind of have to really get used to, but, uh, personal preference, um, I don't use shotguns a whole lot. I know some people love shotguns, but I really only play hardcore and in hardcore, you're generally shooting from a longer distance than 15 meters, unless you're one of those people that, uh, you know, run and gun and, you know, constantly ducking in and out of buildings or using overclock or something like that, which then, you know, it's not really bad because, like I said, it takes three to four shots to kill somebody and it already has the increased magazine capacity. So it's an interesting weapon. Um, now, it also has a very large spread, as you can see, shooting through these glass panes. The spread increases drastically by each pane and then basically right at the 15 meter line, which would be right about there, your shot just disappears. And you can see this glass panel here is not touched at all, even though you can see the spread through all of these panels. And aiming down the sights, the spread drastically increases and goes up the panel so it's kind of cool that uh you know you can shoot through these glass panels and get an idea for you know what the spread is like on a weapon but uh personal preference i don't really like the shotguns hopefully you do like the shotguns maybe uh you know if you were using like i have on my running gun class i have gung-ho so i can always keep my weapon up and at the ready and 
you know, maybe you're running around a corner or something like that. And that's why I say that, you know, this is a good running gun weapon, a good, you know, uh, jump in the air and kill somebody that's behind you or something like that. So when I was playing with this gun a fair amount, I was actually playing momentum since you're running around a lot and uh, generally close quarters combat. And this was actually a very effective weapon for momentum but uh, I really don't like it for any other gameplay. But the only shotgun that I actually use is the TAC-19 since it has longer range. That's just a personal preference though. Hopefully uh, this has given you a little bit of insight into the S-12 Whirlwind, which is a neat elite weapon, definitely one that looks cool. If you have any questions or you like the video, please post a comment. Let me know what other videos you would like to see me do as far as different weapons or uh, tips and tricks for game modes, things like that. Just feel free to post a comment. If this video was helpful and you enjoyed it, please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more weapon review videos and just general gameplay videos. So, thanks for watching.